Now, as we talked in the first introduction lesson in the hydraulic cylinder section, we said that uh, when mounting hydraulic cylinders and when our hydraulic cylinders are in operation, we have to make sure that there are no radial loads on the hydraulic cylinder because hydraulic cylinders are made and designed to withstand only axial loads. Okay, so we don't want radial loads. And while mounting hydraulic cylinders, we have to be sure that we mount them in a way that radial loads are not going to be a problem for our hydraulic cylinder. We can see on this picture various types of mounting. Now because the hydraulic cylinder provides force in a line, we can have a lot of variable mounting points on machines. Here we can see seven different mounting types. The dark parts are the mounting points on our hydraulic cylinder. Now first we have the horizontal mounting type, which we can see here. So this is also called the foot bracket mount. We have the screwed on the back and in the front mount type. We have the front flange and the back flange. We have the front and center revolving joint, which is also called a trunnion. And we have the clevis mount here. Here we can see more mounting types. So the, the, the front flange, the direct rear flange, the clevis or the rear pivot, as we sa saw here on uh, G, the foot bracket or the horizontal, the screwed in front, and the intermediate trunnion, which is basically the center revolving joint. It basically lets the hydraulic cylinder rotate from this point. And here we can see the trunnion mount, how, how it looks like on a hydraulic cylinder. Here we can see the various mounting types that are proved by the National Fluid Power Association. So you can, you can look those up. I've put this JPEG in the resource part. And furthermore, we can also see on this picture the various types of mountings. Now, because some cylinders don't have the feet for mounting on their casing, we have to use these mounting devices uh, from the picture. So the spherical rod end is used for connecting the rod end uh, of the cylinder. And there is a bearing here in the center. So the connection has one degree of rotational freedom. The flange, as we saw, we saw the clevis mount. Here we can see the threaded clevis mount, the foot mount, and the trunnion mount. And that is it for this lesson. Thank you for being focused and for listening and see you in the next lesson in which we will talk about hydraulic cylinder speed.